Hello everyone, 21 Savage and Manchu Boom in Savage Mode 2. I've been waiting for this project for a long time. Uh, I actually didn't know that it was coming, but I was dreaming of another project by 21 Savage and Manchu Boom because when they collab, magic appears. And I always uh, was uh, frustrated by the fact that I couldn't react on camera any of these projects they made together, uh, Savage Mode, uh, and without warming without warning sorry <laughs> with the uh, uh, offset as well so three people uh, uh, so offset 21 savage and metro boom and they were dropping some fire i, I, was, I really enjoyed that project and uh, even then uh, i couldn't react to metro boom's own uh, studio album uh, not all heroes wear capes which was one of the most favorite albums of 2018 for me uh, so many great uh, songs and the uh, vibe just incredible vibes uh, every single song had uh, its own awesome amazing vibe and it just it was so on high level and high level hip-hop is just it was amazing uh, and uh, you know people like travis scott young thug gunna and many more uh, and even drake uh, and in 21, 21 savage included they were all on that project and it was just an amazing project i was like damn it why did i why didn't i react to it on the camera so now uh, washing all my sins away, you know, uh, washing all my mistakes away. I'm, I'm gonna react to Savage Mode 2, hoping that it will uh, be on the same level as those um, fire projects I just mentioned, okay? Okay, so here we go. Savage Mode 2. Drake, I want to say, but it's not Drake, it's 21 Savage, but Drake will appear on this album, which I'm excited about. Uh, Drake fanboy right here <laughs> in front of your eyes. 21 Savage, Metro Boomer, first reaction. Let's go. Track Three one with great ideals. Track one intro. When these men join forces with the focus of reaching the same goals, okay. to obtain the same outcomes, tributes to another. So they're hyping each other pretty much. They're saying that in a unison they are so incredible. They're not two, but they are one, meaning like one unit. Uh, they understand each other so well. They somehow tend to multiply all attributes of both. Is to truly come on, you're hyping me up too much. I'm ready. I, I was already ready. <laughs> now present to you, Savage Mode. Two. Yep. Come on. Track two we have running. <laughs> Oh man, I really love the sample as well. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We are transitioning to the next song. Or worse, the second time around. Interesting. Huh. So they're like uh, thinking, okay, is Savage Mode 2 going to be uh, as fire as the first Savage Mode or even better? Or is it going to flop? Because there are times when we do sequels and sequels are much worse than the originals. Track 3, Glock in my lap. Yeah, we're about to find out if Savage Mode 2 will be on the same level or better or worse. All I can say is uh, the the vibe is pretty different. I mean, like the the songwriting, uh, the structure of beats. Um, Savage Mode One was much more colder and slower, but this one is um, speeding itself up a bit. It's more up tempo than the first one. The first one was like uh, just um, slower, cold approach. Where Twenty One Savage was just showing that he's a savage. He's like a, a kill not a killer, but like. Uh, he's um, he has that swag and like cold-blooded delivery but here uh, while still being 21 Savage he is hopping on faster beats more like action-packed hip-hop Ooh, love the in the background and 21 Savage is doing good 
every while. Scrap mostly rap minus bitch for us. Twin the gang is what I trust. Scrap don't argue with no fudge. Scrap don't talk and he get touched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fuck with it, 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 yay! Clock in my lap, 21 Savage, Metro Boomin, Savage Mode 2, let's go track 4, Mr. Right Now, featuring Drake! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Glock in my lap, I already added to my playlist. I'ma slide, anytime you want, put your mission there, I'm gonna teach you how to stand. What? Slip and slide, like a waterfall, unexpected moves by 21 Savage. And the beat is, is is really cool actually. Unique on its own. Really intrigued how Drake gonna come in. But he will definitely kill it for sure. Okay. Yeah, because it's fitting to him. It's fitting to Drake to be on beat like this. Oh really? Wait, is that true? Did Drake date Caesar in 08? Caesar was, I mean, was around that time? I thought, I mean, in Caesar in 2008. I'm literally googling this. I don't think Drake's leaked song finds him confessing. He used to date Caesar in 2008. I mean, who Drake didn't date at this point? But. <laughs> How how old was SZA at that time? Because I mean she's not, uh, she's pretty still she's still pretty young lady. Um, okay, so she's twenty nine years now, and in two thousand eight, so twelve years ago, she would be seventeen, which is not a good look, not a good look, Drake, not a good look on this. But um, okay, I mean, I didn't know how they found each other, <laughs> but let's keep it going. Turn your phone out, take, take your clothes off. I'm a savage, but I fuck her to a slow song. Okay. Yeah, definitely. This song uh, is making my playlist yet again. A really fun song to listen to. Basically, the, I mean, the lyrics is not something to even like worth discussing. Uh, and again, the scissor line yeah, popped up. Uh, I mean, it was um, a, a highlight. Uh, because like oh wow interesting information we can talk about it. but like the rest of the lyrics I mean they're literally talking about how uh, w uh, like what's to what songs they have sex with their um, girlfriends or or just girls they find <laughs> that's pretty much it like oh I, uh, my, my girl wants to listen to SZA but I used to dra the date SZA in 2008 so it's weird so it's like that so I mean there's nothing really uh, worth discussing here but again it's a vibe it's a vibe it's uh it's fun it's um entertaining and um when you listen to it you, you're you're enjoying it i mean i don't know what else to say because the melodies are so um, hypnotizing and um it's just so pleasant to the ears track five rich and word shit featuring young thug This is luxurious. This part the, in, the, in the background, do you hear it? Young Thug usually, uh, I mean, he goes to a higher pitched territory, like in the beginning of this verse, but now he's like rapping pretty much on the same level of uh, range as 21 Savage. Uh, track six sliding. Oh, 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 okay, okay, hey. Man, I'm loving the beat. And of course, 21, like, again, there's nothing 21 Savage can do that will, um, that I will find repulsive, for example. Like, 21 Savage will always deliver some heat like at this point he ha has this level where he's just not dropping um that level it's just as soon as the beat is nice 21 savage will um deliver for sure so i'm not even like mm, worried about him uh, or questioning his abilities or 
uh, not worried that he's gonna flop because he will always stay consistently good uh, it's just about the beat itself and um uh, you know and here we are with Metro Boomin who always provides some fire beats so that's why it's destined for success you know so the track six is really awesome I'm loving it so he's literally sliding on this track <laughs> I don't remember him doing that before But again, see like it I like that he likes to bring something new to the table Trust you, I won't shoot you Hey Oh He's actually shooting <laughs> So somebody didn't trust him This is definitely gonna go well in the car. Car sessions gonna be lit <laughs> with this album. I'm curious who's narrating this album. Track 7 Many Men and the transitions are smooth as usual with Metro. In a, in a different style, uh, Savage Mode 2 than its, than, uh, its predecessors. Bro. I just, I don't know what to say at this point, I'm just having fun and I'm just enjoying it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That was a good line. And the, the track is called Many Men, uh, like 50 Cent's Many Men, and then also Pop, Pop Smoke in 2020 made his own version of uh, Many Men, but uh, the track was called God and On Me on his la latest album, uh, posthumous album, unfortunately. Shots to the Moon. Uh, uh. What was the name of the album again? It was just a long name. I, I mean, I, I knew the title because I, I listened to Pop Smoke album a lot. Oh, Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon. That's the name of the album. So 50's line is, uh, everyone wish death on me. And then 21 Savage is saying, I feel like, 20, uh, I feel like 50 Cent uh, because many people want to kill me, pretty much. But at the same time, I wouldn't be actually risking to make a song many men uh, like 21 Savage is here right now because what happened with Pop Smoke was he got shot and then um, yeah now we know I mean he released a song got it on me uh, when he was singing uh, many men with death on me and exactly what happened you know somebody wished death on him and he got killed and like that that sort of song came true it didn't come true to uh, 250 uh, and that's uh, that's great i mean that's that we don't want to lose another rapper but and uh, an icon at this point 50 cent but uh 21 savage i mean I, like i if i was 21 savage i wouldn't i would stay away from this kind of uh songs too but um you know who knows because i i, I believe in that um you know you're attracting what you call you know when you say something to the world like it, it will come to you we, we, and when it comes to like good things and bad things so well i guess 21 savage is a savage and i'm not you know saying so, that's why he's a savage and i'm not need a girl like riri need a girl like riri for sure yeah i need a girl like uh, i need a girl like riri <laughs> that was a good track though for sure it was nice. Citizen who reports Track 8, Snitches and Rats, snitch. Interlude. Truthful words by the narrator. Now we are transitioning to Track 9, Snitches and Rats, Young Nutty feature. You talk on the internet, we talk in the streets. Yeah. Young Nutty sounds like Gucci Mane a bit. Wait a second, I just... I mean, I was on Genius.com, and what? Narration is by Morgan Freeman, out of all people? Morgan Freeman is narrating the whole thing? It doesn't sound like Morgan Freeman, to me at least. I mean, maybe I haven't seen enough Morgan Freeman movies in English, particularly, because I, I mean, I till 2015, 2014, since my move, till my move to the United States, I mean, I used to watch movies in Russian, uh, mostly, so you know Morgan Freeman for me would <laughs> speak Russian, yes. But uh, and he had he would have had 
uh, different voice. But um, still, though, I mean, I, I've seen a couple. I, mean, I know how Miriam Freeman sounds in English. He doesn't sound like this guy, but um, I mean, that's cool. That's really cool. It's awesome, actually. I'm really, I'm really happy by that fact because uh, I mean, I really like Morgan Freeman. Okay, good track as well. Track ten, we have my dog. <laughs> Damn, that was a that was a good song and um, quite um, informational <laughs> and vulnerable too. He was opening up how he saw the struggle when he was in his childhood and then in, in when it was when he was a teenager and also he was addressing the fact that uh, addressing the meme pretty much when. We all discovered that um, 21 Savage is not an American, in fact, he was not born in Atlanta, but he was born in the United Kingdom, I don't know what city, but in, he was born in Great Britain. It was just, uh, well, for us, it was a shock because like, it, for us, he was an American, but damn, <laughs> He's, he, are you from UK, actually? And then he got deported and uh the memes were there <laughs> the sir 21 now <laughs> we gotta call him sir 21 uh but, and then there was much more to that of course it was funny and now he's though uh mentioning about the fact that okay you guys are laughing at me but kind of like uh you, you guys keep talking about that uh but like like i don't got a case and like i don't like i don't have guns to shoot you pretty much <laughs> like i'm still savage you know what i'm saying i'm still gonna be up on your ass, he's saying, and uh, and um, yeah, I believe him. <laughs> and you know what I mean, like, um, and he, uh, because of that, because he doesn't, he didn't have visas. He was because he was illegal here. Um, you know, he his parents made the move. I I, I assume his parents uh, moved from Britain to uh, to America to Atlanta when he was uh, around. Uh, he was struggling because he couldn't do things that. Uh, regular I mean resident could have done uh, he had to hide the fact that he is illegal in this country so and then from that a lot of struggle also came when he was in, on the streets uh, he saw death of, uh, of a person he cared about I, I assume Larry was his uh, friend and um, he was crying about that and um, there, there was there was just much more to digest from the song so that's how I was like I was fully invested in the lyrics I was looking at the lyrics and the, the beat was also you can feel like it's kind of like it's not really like Eminem Mockingbird ask beat but it's it's getting to that level where okay you know he's actually saying something serious and you should be listening to him that the beat was supporting of that the beat was um, on the minor keys uh, it was like uh, setting up the mood where Okay, uh, it's actually something troubling happening right now. So um, we have track eleven. We have stepping on uh, on boys. Let's call it that way. <laughs> so he's not a Muslim, but he's he's not eating bacon. I don't eat bacon myself because I'm a Muslim. But he's not a Muslim, and he's still not eating a bacon. Interesting. Okay. Um, this song wasn't that as enjoyable as some of the other songs I really enjoyed from this album, but it was not bad at all. Um, still, I'm not gonna be skipping this song. I, I, I ain't gonna skip any song from the album, actually. Still, nice groove to it. I mean, a nice um, flow to the album where, like, skipping the song feels like a criminal activity, <laughs> actually. Um, so, it, it's just flowing nicely. Uh, the sound, the beat actually reminded me of uh, Boys in the Hood by Easy Eat, that beat. Uh, so it reminded me, like it's a similar style, I don't know how to call it, but uh, again, I'm just giving you comparisons to uh, the similarity of the beat so you can understand what's, um, what's it like, what's this song was like. Uh, track 12, brand new Draco. Oh man, okay, this beat seems to be... Uh, the beat that I will be fucking with heavy. I, I really like this kind of beats. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Track 13. I have no up 
left behind. I would assume no opon opponent left behind. Oh. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yeah, this song is might be one of my favorite songs on this album. It's just so awesome. It's just it's um it's heaven to the ear to my ears. It's just the beat is so melodic and uh, again like I'm using the same uh, <laughs> adjectives to, to explain, uh, but man, this is just so pleasant to the ears. It's just uh, I'm I'm shocked. It's just so freaking good you know what i'm saying hold on actually just <laughs> just realized now that i should have turned on this light over here whoa to make it look much better i don't know why i didn't <laughs> anyway continue track for team have r.i.p yeah. love rest in peace to love july 8th the beat is awesome kind of remind me of new york actually for some reason some more rest in peace to love i gave up a long time ago, long time ago. high caliber track 13 was high caliber and now this one is high caliber bro my she didn't think i was romantic because i'm so ghetto got a panic and a burk and it was fundamental flying like a earthworm loco but i never ever brought the dirt home okay now we both play oh wait can't believe what we came to you won't believe what the fame do We ain't together any problems I still came through mm. Honey, put his hands up, let another one It's euphoric, it's euphoric It's really awesome, I'm loving it The sound is so on a, on a great level uh, Because of Metro And again, I mean How many times I should say, but 21 is, is delivering, of course This is a perfect match, perfect match uh, To answer Morgan Freeman's question in the beginning uh, of this album, yes, the, the, actually, the sequel is better than the first one. <laughs> I I like Savage Mode two more than the first one because first one had its highlights. Uh, highlights, uh, great songs like No Heart or X featuring Future or the, tr the first track was also dope. Um, I forgot the name, but again, like there were um, big big highlights, but also some. Um, underwhelming songs too but here is like consistently pretty good yes i still prefer some songs to the others but but it's it's going well it's it has this form of uh complete complete experience and complete album i'm looking at the track list and i'm like yeah this one is good this one is they're great like i mean like when it comes to running when it comes to block in my lap when it comes to mr right now like there's just so dope songs hit after hit sliding many man stitches and rats and uh, let's finish the project with the last song track 15 said and done <laughs> oh my god the, the composition of this beat by Metro is just wow, it's just so um, peaceful and optimistic and happy, it's just awesome, like pure, pure. <laughs> that, that should turn my heart cold, yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Sorry, when people betray on you, you usually turn. To be colder, you 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 treat uh, you trust people less. You you become less happy or less enthusiastic around people because uh, that trust you had before to uh, for people, um, that excitement to talk to people now is suddenly gone when somebody actually betrayed you like that, made you dirty, or when you saw the actual truth behind the, that person's uh, actions. Um, when you were thinking that he was there because of you or because he actually liked you as a person um, and then he betrays you like that uh, after all you have done to him uh, yeah that's that that's when your heart turns cold but at the same time I would encourage you if you have been in that situation 
to not be like Sony, Sony One Savage and actually try to still find goodness in people because there are many people actually who have good intentions and um, don't make bad motherfuckers win. Keep the world peaceful, keep the world uh, lighthearted and in good spirit because more if more good people that means the trend is to be a, as a good person you know not to be a bad person people will appreciate you being good and will want to hang out with good people or with people that interest them rather than maybe joining gangs or joining the streets that's where you don't want to end up with, you know so anyway um just 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 don't give up on people is what I'm trying to say. It's if you are like, if you are in a state where like, fuck people, like I don't, I don't want to deal with anyone. You know, it's just uh, there are some um, bright, bright individuals that you maybe haven't found yet who are amazing and will change your life. So don't give up. When all is said and done, Morgan Freeman. We can only judge. Okay, First, now, yeah, okay, now I actually recognize this voice, okay. Reward and slave and free ourselves and never lose faith in yourself. Yeah, exactly. Until next time, stay in savage mode because anything else would be too damn civilized. <laughs> Peace. Okay, okay, this is a great freaking project i enjoyed so much listening to it and um i will give it eight out of ten strong eight out of ten this is a great record i am so happy that this was dropped and i mean i've been waiting for 21 savage and he, it's been a while where uh, last time we heard was um 2018 last time we heard from him was uh, 2018 like in, when it comes to full-length album yes he dropped some singles here and there but um actual body of work uh, 2020 so it's been almost two years now uh and uh, yeah man it's just like uh, i'm happy that he came back and uh, i was impressed by uh i'm greater than i was album i'm impressed with this one too uh in in a different way because i think at this point it was more expected that 21 savage can do great things with music whereas with I am greater than I was. I actually didn't expect him to go to go and do what he did on that album. Like he, there were so many multiple variations in his sound. Like he actually did one thing and then another thing. I was like, oh damn, damn, okay. It's like um, can't live without her, for example, with Gun and Little Baby, for example, where, where there was like a cool, amazing flute uh, beat that was arranged with a flute. So uh, mind blowing moment to me of the album and then there was also more hyper uh songs like uh, 4l for example and then uh 1.5 and 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 uh but but this one impressed me with its style uh not necessarily with 21 skills because 21 skills uh we already knew that um he showed us on i am greater than i was that he is amazing and now he you know, he uh, cre recreated that magic with his lyrics and and with his wordplay of course with his style with his delivery uh, but what impressed me more is this um, this time is the style of the album itself it's just still Metro and 21 were able to find different ways to approach uh, hip-hop different ways to approach so songwriting where 21 we knew him doing one thing and then again in Savage Mode 2 though uh, they're coming not just a recreation not as a like direct sequel like meaning like in a very similar vein as savage mode one no but savage mode savage mode two is completely more enhanced different experience than savage mode one it's like two very very uh not uh similar <laughs> projects it's completely different vibe and uh, an engagement and experience, whatever you want to call it. Savage Mode 2, I, I find it more enjoyable and um, it's just, wow. And there were so many 
moments where you like you you went up and down it's like one time you were being vulnerable and uh you were you were listening to 21 savage uh, um childhood story like pretty uh, uh, sad um, not sad but like um tough story uh, but then also <laughs> on another song you're just like thinking to what song to fuck your girlfriend it's like something like that it's like the range of emotions was there it's it was good i liked it uh and the the, the beats by metro again metro can create that um excellent excellent uh, experience with with his sound and uh, he elevated himself again on this project thank you so much for listening to this album with me Thank you for clicking on this video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next videos. Have a good day.